And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? You'll get there. Jal, give Kello the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Still compiling my first impressions, but even their body language is so emotional. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Saw we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. 
How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. How's Liam? Increasingly reckless, even for Liam. Almost like he's trying to impress someone. Who? Me? Be careful there. Liam looks up to you. It'd be easy for him to put you on a pedestal. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Is Jal doing okay? He's adjusting. The rest of us have at least some understanding of each other's cultures. But to Jal, we're all outsiders. It's a lot to take in. I'd say he's doing pretty well. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Four, engine rooms aft, med bay starboard. Smart stuff up front, powers and back. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You're off the hook. Thanks. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Am I interrupting? Nope. I go the way the wind blows. You're here now, so you're the wind. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing. Betty. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. <laughs> I'll risk it. Next time we pulled up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. It's damned lucky there was a path through the scourge right there. Yeah, we can't count on ever being that lucky again. So, what else is new? 
How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Take on the Angara, old man. Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah, you lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? Harsh, don't let Ryder hear you. <laughs> 